Hi everybody, it's Ben here to talk about the top five places to use LED lighting. Top five. Now you might think that LED lighting is great, but hey, bulbs are still a little expensive. Maybe you just wanna start off uh, putting them where you'll get the most bang for your buck. And that's actually the first place to use LED lighting. It's the common sense one. You wanna use LED lights wherever you have the lights on the most. Basically, the more you use them, the more energy you're saving compared to using incandescent bulbs. Now, for a lot of us, that light bulb is gonna be the one right over the kitchen sink or the one in your living room. But it might be different for you, but uh, just think about where, where the light is that you have on the most and then trade that out for an LED bulb. Number two, inside your refrigerator. I know this seems a little counterintuitive because you're thinking, hey, my fridge isn't open that much. Those lights aren't using that much energy. Aha, here's the catch. With an incandescent bulb, you're making a lot of heat with those light bulbs. And the point of your refrigerator and freezer is to be cold, get the heat away. So if you convert over to LED lighting in your fridge, it's not that you're, you're saving all the energy that you're not using in lighting, but rather you're not heating up the space that you're trying to cool anyways. Uh, this is a one and a half watt light bulb that I got from my local hardware store for $3. I have three of these, uh, two in my fridge and one in my freezer. Great way to save energy. Number three, your front porch light. If you're like me, you might leave to go somewhere in the evening, have no idea exactly how long you're going to be there, uh, so you leave the front porch light on. In my case, it's to be able to see to unlock my door. Uh, you might want to do it as a security thing, you know, keep burglars away or whatever. But there's no need to use a lot of electricity. In this case, I'm only using a 3-watt LED bulb, and I'm using a spotlight style, so it projects the light down instead of out, so I'm also not lighting up the entire neighborhood or the night sky. Number four, your garage door opener. Garage door openers vibrate as they move the door, which is absolutely terrible for incandescent bulbs with their filament. On the other hand, CFL bulbs take a minute to warm up, and in my cold garage in the winter, hardly put out any light at all. The solution is an LED bulb. And number five, Shop lights, work lights, and trouble lights. You know how these things get bounced around and the filaments and incandescents always break. And hey, if you've ever broken a CFL and had to clean that up, you know what a mess that is. These LED bulbs have a, a plastic cover to them, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. Well, that's it for now. But if you have a tip or trick for LED lighting, let us know right here with a comment. Or head on over and say hello at ecoprojecteer.net. See you there.